Tesla's early mover advantage won't keep it at the top forever. Well, Toyota will see to it. Their answer to Musk's hegemony, solid state batteries. After years of focusing on hybrids and lagging behind in all electric adoption, Toyota has unveiled a solid state battery prototype that promises over 1,000 kilometers of range and ultra fast charging in under 15 minutes. With over $13 billion invested in battery innovation and a rollout strategy that begins with Lexus and expands to mass market models by 2028, Toyota isn't just catching up. It may just as well crush Tesla's lead. Let's see how things are playing out with Toyota's late entry and rapid acceleration in EVs. Toyota is changing. It's changing fast. For much of the 2010s, Toyota held firm in its belief that hybrid technology was the most practical path to carbon neutrality. This conviction was embodied in its flagship hybrid, the Toyota Prius, which debuted in 1997 and became one of the best-selling hybrid vehicles in the world. By 2022, Toyota had sold over 20 million hybrid vehicles globally. However, the tide has now turned. There is not going to be enough room for the middle ground in the future. It's either or and Toyota realizes it. That being said, Toyota's pivot toward full electrification is beginning to take tangible shape. In 2023, Toyota sold approximately 150,000 EVs worldwide. This was a major leap. Just a year earlier, the Japanese automaker could only manage to sell a little over 24,000 EVs, mostly through its BZ4X crossover SUV and a few other regional offerings. The nearly five-fold increase in 2023 EV sales reflects both a sharp change in Toyota's production strategy and a growing global demand for fully electric options. The increase also reflects Toyota's recognition that hybrid dominance alone will not secure its place in the future automotive market. The market is changing. So is Toyota. Part of this new approach is Toyota's decision to use Lexus, the company's luxury division, as the vanguard for its most advanced electric technologies. Lexus, which sold over 824,000 vehicles globally in 2023, is not only a symbol of high-end automotive engineering, but also a strategic testing ground for Toyota's most premium innovations. The Lexus RZ450e, launched in 2022, marked the brand's first dedicated battery electric vehicle. Designed on the ETNGA platform shared with the BZ4X, the RZ450e reflects Toyota's attempt to marry luxury performance with electric efficiency. Moreover, Lexus has announced plans to go fully electric by 2035, with some markets like Europe and North America transitioning even earlier. This staggered rollout allows Toyota to fine-tune its battery technologies, powertrain software, and production logistics before scaling up to mass-market Toyota-branded EVs. The company's renewed vision is encapsulated in its Beyond Zero initiative, a wide-reaching electrification campaign announced in 2021. As part of this initiative, Toyota has committed to achieving annual sales of 1.5 million electric vehicles by 2026. This target is ambitious, considering that as recently as 2020, Toyota's EV output was negligible in global terms. To support this transition, the automaker has pledged roughly $13.5 billion in battery development and electrification by 2030. This investment covers not only new vehicle platforms, but also battery research and development, solid-state battery trials, software integration, and the construction of dedicated EV production lines. By 2030, Toyota aims to offer 30 new electric models across both the Toyota and Lexus brands and reach annual sales of 3.5 million EVs globally. So, Toyota's global production network is also being restructured to support its electric ambition. In the United States, Toyota announced a $1.3 billion investment in its Kentucky plant in 2024 to prepare for EV production, with the first U.S.-assembled BEV expected to roll off the line in 2025. 
At the same time, a battery manufacturing plant is being constructed in Liberty, North Carolina, scheduled to begin operations in 2025, and it's expected to produce enough batteries for 1.2 million vehicles annually. Over in Japan, Toyota's Motomachi plant, which is actually one of its most historic production sites, is being revamped to serve as a key EV assembly hub. The company is also exploring production capacity increases in Europe, particularly in the UK and Turkey, where existing facilities can be upgraded for EV output. Just a couple of years back, Toyota executives were publicly voicing skepticism about fully electric vehicles, citing concerns about charging infrastructure, battery sourcing, and consumer readiness. Former Toyota president Akio Toyota famously warned that a rapid transition to EVs could strain global electricity grids and hurt the environment if power generation remained carbon intensive. While such concerns were not unfounded, they led to a perception that Toyota was lagging behind companies like Tesla and Hyundai in embracing the electric future. Now, however, Toyota has recalibrated its stance. The automaker is placing a strong emphasis on battery innovation, including plans to commercialize solid-state batteries by 2027. These batteries promise faster charging times, longer range, and greater safety than conventional lithium-ion counterparts. If Toyota succeeds in scaling this technology, it could leapfrog many competitors in terms of performance and durability. In 2023, Toyota engineers reported achieving a prototype solid-state cell capable of a 1,000-kilometer range on a single charge with a 10-minute recharge time. Despite its late start, Toyota's electrification strategy benefits from its experience in lean manufacturing and global logistics. The company's mastery of supply chain management, quality control, and cost optimization will become critical advantages as the EV sector matures and margins tighten. Moreover, Toyota's global dealership and service infrastructure, particularly in markets like North America, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East, gives it a logistical edge in EV rollout and maintenance support. Critically, Toyota's approach also shows signs of regional adaptation. In China, the world's largest EV market, Toyota, a global automotive titan long synonymous with pioneering hybrid technology through its Prius model, is strategically navigating the industry's rapid pivot to full electrification through key global partnerships and regional adaptations. A prime example of this new collaborative strategy is its landmark partnership in the world's largest electric vehicle market, China. There, Toyota has joined forces with BYD, China's undisputed leader in EV manufacturing and battery technology. This alliance is far more than a simple supplier agreement. It is a deep collaboration aimed at co-developing electric sedans specifically engineered to resonate with the sophisticated preferences of Chinese consumers. The first fruit of this significant partnership is the Toyota BZ3, an all-electric sedan that debuted in the Chinese market in late 2022. The BZ3 is a testament to the synergy between the two companies. While it bears Toyota's design language and brand reliability, its core electric powertrain is distinctly BYD. Most notably, it leverages BYD's innovative blade battery, a cell-to-pack technology renowned for its exceptional safety standards. Having passed rigorous nail penetration tests without fire or explosion, and its high energy density, which contributes to the vehicle's competitive driving range. This collaboration allows Toyota to accelerate its EV rollout in China by tapping into locally dominant technology, while BYD gains further validation and scale for its components. Simultaneously, Toyota is executing a deliberate and measured transition in the European market, where the regulatory landscape has become a powerful catalyst for change. The European Union's increasingly stringent emissions regulations, particularly its fleet average carbon dioxide standards, have forced all automakers to rapidly accelerate their electric plans. In response, Toyota is methodically increasing its portfolio of zero-emission vehicles to ensure compliance and maintain its strong market presence. 
The company's European roadmap aims for battery electric vehicles to constitute at least 10% of its total sales in the region by 2025. The remaining 90% will be composed of a diverse mix of its celebrated hybrid electric vehicles and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. This balanced approach underscores a key tenet of Toyota's global philosophy, that a multi-pathway strategy, rather than an immediate all-in commitment to pure battery electric power, is the most pragmatic way to achieve meaningful carbon reduction across varied markets and customer needs. While this measured pace may appear less aggressive than the all-electric pledges of European rivals like Volkswagen, which is betting heavily on its dedicated ID family, or Renault's ambitious Renolution plan, it nonetheless represents a significant and clear pivot for Toyota in Europe. For decades, the region was the bastion of Toyota's hybrid-first strategy. The deliberate introduction and scaling of pure battery electric models, alongside a continued commitment to hybrid innovation, marks a fundamental evolution of its regional tactics as it adapts to a new regulatory and competitive reality. The era of Toyota sitting on the sidelines of full electrification is over. The coming years will test whether the world's largest automaker can reinvent itself fast enough to lead in the very arena it once hesitated to enter. Toyota's infrastructure and strategy, a major pillar of Toyota's electrification strategy, 